there really might not be a video game community more divided than the Minecraft community. Old Minecraft versus Modern Minecraft, Extrinsic Motivation versus Intrinsic Motivation, RPG versus Sandbox, Mojang is Lazy versus Mojang is Good, Aspect versus Aspect, there's more but I'm sure you get the idea. These are all debates that still ripple through the Minecraft community to this day. In fact, they are essentially the backbone of much of the arguing and fighting that takes place in the community, yet few people actually realize that. But once you're able to identify these sort of argument backbones, it can make your time in the Minecraft community a lot easier and more enjoyable. So, today we are going over a comprehensive guide of all of these different arguments, also known as the political landscape of the Minecraft community. Now, I've prepared a few charts to help explain this better. This is chart number one, covering two topics of contention in the community. On the bottom, we have anti-Mojang people who really don't like Mojang, and on the top, we have pro-Mojang people who like Mojang. On the left side here, we have modernists, people who think Minecraft is pretty much perfect as is right now, and they don't want the game to be altered in any meaningful or important ways, at least not in any of its core mechanics. Now, on the right, we have progressives, people who want the game to be changed in really meaningful ways at its core mechanics, believing that there's still much more room for improvement with Minecraft, and they want to see it reach that potential that it has. Now, just for an example, here's where I would probably fall on this chart. I don't really hate or love Mojang. They've made a few bad choices over the years and aren't very good with communication, but it at least seems like they're trying. I don't really think they're a terrible company or anything. But throughout my videos, I think it's been pretty clear that I'm pretty much all the way on the progressive side here. Minecraft, I believe, has pretty much unlimited potential as a video game, and I don't want it to be held back from that. I really want to see very meaningful and impactful changes made to the game that improve it drastically, or whatever else it may take for Minecraft to be the absolute best that it can be. Because modern Minecraft, the way I see it, as good as it is, is riddled with many flaws still and already all kinds of different ways that I could see it being better as a video game. And that's why I just don't want the game to be held back like some people do. But now let's move on. This is chart number two. These are what I have devised as Minecraft's five core aspects. These are building, engineering, adventure, combat, and progression. Each one of these aspects is very important and makes Minecraft what it is. They all hinge on each other in some way, so that if you take even just one of them out, the game kind of falls apart, and then the Minecraft that we all know and love disappears. And here there is the argument of aspect supremacy, believing that one of these gore aspects is superior to the others. Now, I want to be very clear here, being a supremacist of some aspect doesn't mean you just like that aspect more than the others. That's completely normal to have your favorite aspect in the game. No, what being a supremacist of one means is believing that that aspect is truly more important than the others in some way and deserves attention over all of the others. The most extreme case of this would be believing that only one aspect actually matters, or believing that one aspect alone is the entire point of the game. This argument, the argument of aspect supremacy, is a massive backbone to so much debate in the Minecraft community, especially when it comes to things like talks of progression. Now, part of the reason that the Minecraft community is such a just not nice space is because what we have here is a political imbalance. There is a fair number of build supremacists active within the Minecraft community, not necessarily fully extreme build supremacists, but people who believe that it takes priority over every other aspect combined. And this is a huge problem because, honestly, I haven't even seen a supremacist of any aspect other than building. There are some build supremacists, but then none of any other aspect from what I've seen in the community, which then creates a huge imbalance. 
where people who aren't big fans of building or prefer the other aspects might feel excluded at times. But honestly, out of the entire Minecraft player base, there aren't that many build supremacists, it's just that they seem like a large group because they are a very active and vocal minority in the community. Most people just play Minecraft in, say, a two-week phase. They get a pretty balanced experience, you know, experience in some of every aspect. Those who stick around longer tend to lean much more heavily into building. Because of this, build supremacists, who really are only a very small portion of the Minecraft player base, seem like a large group who makes up a very large chunk of the Minecraft community. And now let's talk extrinsic versus intrinsic motivation. So, the aspects of building and engineering tend to be more for the intrinsically motivated, meanwhile the aspects of combat and progression tend to be more for the extrinsically motivated, and then adventure can kind of be a cross between the both, resulting in pretty much a 50-50 split. And here is where I quickly want to address an absurd argument regarding this. I've seen many people now say that Minecraft is only for the intrinsically motivated. It is genuinely astounding to me that people can actually believe that, so many people too, because the fully intrinsically motivated are a very small portion of the population, let's say like 5%, and a large focus of Minecraft nowadays is inclusivity, especially when it comes to different playstyles. So with that being the case, how can you actually try to argue that Minecraft is a game that is only for this small little 5% of the population? Minecraft is meant to be a game that appeals to a very wide player base, and it does. And it feels somewhat selfish to me to say that Minecraft is only for your little group of people, or to just try and write off entire large chunks of the player base as not important, saying those people don't matter. That's kind of missing a lot of the point of Minecraft, isn't it? Anyway, I would definitely say I'm an aspect equalist. I think they're all equally important, so I just fall dead in the center here. But moving on, this final chart is about the different eras of Minecraft. You have people who prefer and still play the past versions like beta. You have people who think modern Minecraft is the best version. And then you have people who want Minecraft to move into the future and change to improve. Sort of similar to the progressives that we talked about earlier, I'm definitely more in the future area here. That being said, with the old Minecraft versus modern Minecraft debate, a lot of people like to make fun of old Minecraft players, which I honestly think is just kind of disrespectful. Like, play whatever version makes you the happiest, the one that you get the most joy out of. And no one should be made fun of for what version they play. If that's making them happy, then let them do it in peace. But it seems that many people disagree with me on that matter. But anyway, those are pretty much all of the major debates that you need to know about that are ongoing in the Minecraft community. These debates typically aren't on the surface of arguments, rather they are what is beneath them, fueling them. So that about does it. I always appreciate it if you like or subscribe, helps me a ton. And I hope to see you in the next one, but for now, goodbye.